This video shows an IETF auditor undertaking a part of an IETF 16949 remote audit at a certified client. Watch this video and see if this aspect of the remote audit is undertaken effectively. So Carl, I want to follow up on the finished goods store. Uh, I want to look at batch at, or part number at 2996. Um, um, I've seen earlier that there has been some customer concerns around packaging damage to that product. I wonder yeah. if you can get Brian, the warehouse manager, to walk me to that area and take me through the process of um, how you store that product and what you would do if you did find damaged packaging. Yeah, so Brian's here now, I'll just... Uh, 2996, we have got... Hello, hello Brian, yes. Yeah. So if you can show me the, the store's location for that. Right, 2996, I've got two in C14R, I've got two in C19R and one in C19L. Left. So just hold the camera still there, I can see some damage on the corner of that box in the middle there. The one in C19. Can you hone it? That oh, one, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. So in that situation, what would you do if we were ready to pick that to ship that to the customer? Take me through your process about how you would deal with that. When it's highlighted that there's any damage to the box, we would have to quarantine the box um, to get it repacked. Right. Can you? So, where where would be the quarantine area? Is it possible? I that know this is not in there at the moment, but can you take me through area. the way that you would identify? Yeah, the quarantine area is in the factory. Um, first of all, though, I'll put a label on um, with the information so they know what's uh, needed. Okay, I'll just get a label. Right. Yeah. Is is a label. So if I fill in the details. Great. And what I would like to do now then is follow the audit trail. Is yeah, it possible that you could show me the quarantine area? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, so I've filled in the relevant information that's needed on there for the qu uh, quality staff. If you'd like to follow me. This is the quarantine area. We'll right, inform okay. the um, the member of staff as well that uh, I'm bringing it through. Okay. Cal, Cal, I've noticed some damage into a pack package that's in the uh, warehouse. Um, it's got the it's got a rip on the side of it, so it'll need repacking at some point. Are you okay to do it? Yeah. Right. I'll get it brought through as quick as I can. I'll um, I'll get them to uh, input it into the MRP as well for you. Thank you. Okay, so now I'll go back into the warehouse and instruct the guys to actually bring the, the, card, the cardboard box through into the uh, quarantine area. In this part of the remote audit, it is evident that the auditor has done good audit preparation, reviewing both customer complaints and internal performance data. As a result of doing this preparation, the auditor is able to follow audit trails, in this case related to the customer complaint caused by damaged packaging. Following the opening discussions with the warehouse manager, the auditor asks the client to take him to the warehouse to show him the storage of the relevant part number. In doing this, the auditor observed damage to the outer packaging of one of the boxes of material. From this, the auditor followed the audit trail to see how such material is quarantined, including the relevant identification and segregation of the material. Probable that based upon the information collected, that the action taken by the client to address the damaged packaging was not effective. 
Although in a real audit, the auditor should collect further evidence before drawing conclusions on the grade of any nonconformity. To undertake an effective remote audit, it is essential the auditor does good audit preparation, which should include review of external performance data and also the internal performance of the organization. To undertake a remote audit effectively, it is essential that the auditor has a pre-meeting with the auditee to check the method of communication, especially the ability to see the shop floor processes. In this case, the material storage. Just as for an on-site audit, in a remote audit, the auditor should follow audit trails to be able to draw accurate and factual conclusions. In this video, the auditor followed the audit trail to the quarantine store, but further evidence would be needed to collect an enough evidence to enable the grading of any nonconformity.